So here's the house at 13448 Classic Oaks. You have a two car garage. You have, this is brand new driveway. And it's a big driveway. You can park 10 cars in here. Uh, front yard, slight slope away from the house. So it is a little bit of a walk up. I and mean, then that's the front of the house. And that driveway go way far in the back. So you can really park a lot of cars in here. New roof, architectural shingles, so good stuff there. And you have the front porch, got a little gazebo there. It's all stone uh, front, so it looks nice. Wood porch, good size. You can fit a coffee table or a bench or something. Plenty of space. Okay, so walked in. And you have dining room to the right. Carpet floor, two windows uh, connect to the front porch. Got chair railings, so got nice detail, got crown molding. Then you have a, like a living room reception area. Nice crown molding, chair railing. You got the classic colonial type yellow paint going on here. Wide hallway, hardwood floor. A small coat closet. Going into the small rooms over there. And then you got the main family room here. Look like a first floor master there. Gas fireplace. Nice windows, open concept with kitchen, and you got nice uh, patio in the back. So let's go through here. You have a big pantry, probably about nine, ten feet of space there. All right, so let's see, countertop, quartz countertop, I believe. Nice cabinet, uh, black appliances, seem to be in fairly good shape. So you can see the countertop here. It has backsplash, towels, got double sink, so some nice cabinetry, got a breakfast area, got a nice brick patio in the back, huge uh, walk up staircase. Uh, nice shed there. Built in barbecue. So it looks like it's only fencing on one side. Then you have the master on the main level, which is a nice feature. Carpet is in good shape. Plenty of space. King size bed and this have plenty of room. Walk into master bath, soaking tub. 
No jet. Just a tub. Water closet. And we got a big shower. All tiled in. Double vanity. And the linen closet. And then you have the walk-in closet. Not too big for for a master that is this large. This is a fairly conservative size closet. Okay. And here, that's going back to the kitchen. But there's a little butler bar here. So you can do like coffee station, wine glasses and such. A full bath. Yeah, this is nice. Nice upgraded floor tiles. Good cabinets. Uh, upgraded wall tile there. Pretty decent setup. I think this is like a sage green type color. Green tea type color. So you got two rooms here. They're set up uh, as offices right now, but they can, I, there are bedrooms. This one has carpet floor. And got two windows. Good size closet, six feet wide. There's a ceiling fan. Then you have the second bedroom, third bedroom. This one has hardwood floor, two windows, and another six or seven, about seven feet of uh, space there. Your laundry is on the first floor. Which is nice. It's an order order system. And then you have your two cars garage. Garage walls finish. Plenty of space on both sides of the garage door for ease in and out. A little shallow. Uh, and then plenty of windows. Garage opener and two attic access. Couple steps down, so it's three steps, two steps. All right. Yeah, this also got some hanging rod there. It's kind of nice. Oh, half back. Okay, so. You have a full bath, a half bath, and a master bath, and all on the same level. Then going downstairs, hardwood staircase, nice and wide stairs. Nice towels, uh, not towels, sorry, laminate sheets. Yeah, so let's check the first door. This is the back of the AC system. We'll go and take a look at it from the other side. This is a full bath. Cabinet is a little bit beat up here. Very similar to the room up top. A small top. Pretty narrow top, plastic, plastic cover, orange paint. This also go through, connect to this room here, which is used as a bedroom with a walk-in closet. And then you can see it's a bedroom. It's all the same flooring, laminate flooring. 
with a full size window. Walk out here, same flooring material. That's the walk out to that huge staircase. There's a lock. I'm not gonna try to. Okay. All right. So looking back at the room again. So I couldn't open the door. Uh, the door has extra lock on it, but you can see that's the outside. All right. Got ceiling fan, recess light. Just a big open area. And this is another big open area. So this is on the other side of that staircase. It has an unfinished storage room. It has an unfinished storage room. And this is the other side of the staircase. I opened the door before we come down the stairs. Got a probably original AC system here, Goodman. So pretty basic brand, gas, furnace. We have another room here. This is just closet. And this big space. Another room with two closet space. Just a big storage closet. Here's just your electrical panel. So that's the whole house. And here's a second Here's a second AC system. So it's a dual zone AC system. I think this is another Goodman also. Gas. You also got gas, hot water heater. And a sump pump. With a humidifier. So everything looks in place. Um, nice house overall. Just two levels, upstairs and downstairs. Three bedroom up top and one in bottom. So I don't know if that's enough for you guys. Because it got three bedroom. The master and then your two kids go there. And then the guest would be downstairs.